Hello you guys and welcome back to part two of Eden Prime. We are now ready to go ahead and try and open the stasis pod, but the bridge was retracted from us, so we have to find a way to get across. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and I hope you're enjoying watching me play this game. I'm having so much fun playing. I know I got a little bit sidetracked with trying to find all the intel in an area, but I want to make sure that I pick up everything before I move on. Okay, so I feel like something's going to happen up here. So we got the pod down there. It looks like we need to continue going this way. Watch out, Garrus. <coughs> Because we just can't drop down, we gotta use the ladder. <laughs> I have a feeling something bad is going to happen here. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Heavy Cerberus forces inbound. Looks like we've got a siege on our hands. Love the epic, epic music. I gotta move forward more. This is a good spot. Maybe there will be an atlas. Well, I wouldn't look forward to fighting an atlas, but it would be nice. Because there's an achievement that I need for hijacking one. Standing right there, looking at me. Got a second to catch our breath. If anybody needs fresh clips or a bathroom break, now's the time. <laughs> a bathroom break, yeah. Has the life pod ended stasis mode? We're almost there. I saw a supply cache in the building next door. If you want to stock up, I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access. Singularity, where do you want me to put it? Where? Oh, so there is an atlas. Okay, so let's drop. Ah, oh, stasis. Let's assess the situation. Right into the missile. I want this mech right here. I think I have to damage him though. I th think I'm screwing this up already, you guys. Oh, 
shit, 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 shit. Okay. Yep, I'm screwing this up. Sorry. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get him. I honestly do not know how to hijack one. I will definitely have to look it up online. Or if you guys have any suggestions or, uh, you know, <laughs> you have hijacked that atlas, let me know. I'm really not sure how you're supposed to be able to. Obviously, you can't just run right up to him. There. You can open the life pod now. Okay, let's just pick up these extra thermal clips over here. take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Be careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Preparing neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now! Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing 
Our last moments. Our failure. I could not imagine being the last of your species alive. Especially when he was trying so hard to fight. I saw what happened to your people. I know you must be grieving. But they died 50,000 years ago. My people are dying right now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. Terrian. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, those three CBCs were primitives. <laughs> when he was around. Well, if you could imagine, 50,000 years is, is really insane. I'm glad that I played this DLC. A living Prothean. That's correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way. What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating, but they're not letting me talk to him. Apologies, Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. At ease. I don't think our guest will be a problem. Will he? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... Sorry about that noise. Oh, the kid upstairs having a fit. <laughs> saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why weren't they heeded? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? 
No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Then I'd say you found an ally. The goal of this ship is to wipe the Reapers from existence. But how far are you willing to go to achieve that goal? Lies are easy to detect, but you seem to be telling the truth, Commander. For now. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die... ...will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people. Imparting experience through touch. The chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you. Witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So, could you read something about this room? There was... liquid. A form of incubation. The DNA of a... Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. That's a really neat uh, little uh, way of reading things that he has there. Liara here would never forgive me if I didn't ask you. What was Prothean civilization like? Yes, I've always wondered. What sort of government did you have? And can you tell me about your religious beliefs or perhaps the... We are dead now. What does it matter? I'm sorry. Studying your history has been a lifelong passion of mine. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. My studies indicated you were the only race engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. 
all eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us. The Inusanon. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. Well, I'm sure we'll be bringing you to the Citadel, so you can see it. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated. Converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon, it is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Thank you for talking with me. I never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Salarians. The lizard people evolved. 
I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. <laughs> Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik. And welcome aboard the Normandy, Javik. I wonder what his opinion would be about the Krogan. Slam unlocked. Oh, okay. So we got a new power. Wow, I'm having a hard time with my brain today. Let's go around the Normandy and see uh, if we can speak with Javik again and then also speak with other crew members as well. So much has been lost. So much has changed. And yet the Reapers are still here. Yeah, it's really amazing that he's here. Oh, maybe we can now catch our space hamster. I definitely want to download the rest of the DLC for Mass Effect 3. There you are. Did I get him? Yeah, space hamster. <laughs> what is it, space hamster 2, Shepard 1. Nothing to report, Commander. Thank you, sir. Carry on. Have you seen our newest crew member? You mean the biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? So you have seen him. Just wondering. You know, in the old days, they didn't have automatic cameras. Reporters had to cake on the makeup. <laughs> Just talking about basically like a Photoshop. I like how she can't talk about it, so he's kind of like a secret. Okay, we're going to start at the shuttle bay and then work our way up. This is bad. I love you, but I know you. Don't make me an anchor. Promise me, Steve. No, don't. Commander. Sorry, didn't see you there. This is a recording from Ferris Fields. Months ago. I lost a lot of friends that day. I lost my husband. I grieved said goodbye, made my peace. You were talking with him when the Collectors hit? I was organizing construction at a remote station a few clicks south of the main colony. Robert managed to get outside of the field the Collectors put up. Instead of running, he called me. Sorry for your loss. He obviously cared a lot about you. He was afraid I wouldn't let go. But for him, I moved on. Or at least I thought I had. Then the invasion hits. There's no time. And the one thing I grab is this. I mean, what's the point of moving on with your life when everything is going to hell? Start thinking that way and we've already lost. Yeah, you're right, but... Well, to be honest... I've never felt as alone as I do right now. You're not alone, Steve. I'm here. Anytime you need me. I appreciate that, Shepard. I really do. But don't worry, Commander. When I'm in that pilot seat, I'm there 100%. I won't fail you. It's just the downtime between missions that's hard, you know? I know. Hmm. Feel bad for him. Okay. Before we go speak with James, we're going to change our armor. I don't understand why it's uh, like that. Yeah, it has the green on it, so... Ah, that's why. 
So I just need to change it to red. Oh, that's no biggie. So that's good. I like to make like kind of like the jerk choices, I guess is how you would say it. But with some of the screw the squad and the crew, I can't be mean to them because they're in it with me. Like I could totally be a jerk to a council member. I could care less about what Udina thinks, you know, but some people, you just don't want to be a jerk to them because they're going through the same exact thing as you. I still can't believe it. A real live Prothean. <laughs> Doc must be over the moon. He could say that. I hear the guy's not all there. Exactly. Damn. <laughs> I can't imagine. Brought forward 50,000 years. Last of your kind. That's bound to screw with your mind. Yeah. Well, here's hoping he can help us with the Reapers. I sure hope so. Oh, man. I definitely want to download some of the other DLC now. We're going to go ahead and go up to the crew deck. And then we'll go up to level 1 and then down to level 2. Okay, so I believe it's just Liara, yeah, Garrus, and Dr. Chakwas. Chakwas probably isn't going to be saying anything. We will go to Garrus first and then make our way over to Liara, and she'll probably have a lot to say about Javik. Speaking of Javik, I love his accent. Seen a lot of crazy things in my time on the Normandy, Shepard. Talking Reaper, talking plant, and now a real live talking Prothean. Hell of a thing, waking up to find everything you know is destroyed. But I imagine the chance to get some payback is consolation. Doubt you and I will ever get a second chance against the Reapers. That's true. I mean, I guess we could lock everybody up in a stasis chamber and bury us deep within a planet that the Reapers don't know about somehow survive uh, through the Reaper invasion, but it takes several thousand years, I believe, is what the Prothean VI said in Mass Effect 1. There is new information on the private messages terminal. Hmm. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little... Cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean Shepherd? There's so much he could tell us. It's true. I think right now his mission is just to get his revenge. So we got more Prothean notes. The things this Prothean must have seen. If they had the technology to preserve someone for over 50,000 years, no wonder they were capable of building things like the device on Mars. I must give him time to get his bearings, but goddess, when will he, we get another chance to learn so much about their civilization? Yeah, none. Oh, it was just the one note. Okay. So let's go up to the captain's quarters. <laughs> Check out our space hamster. Is he going to say squeak? I don't know why I get such amusement out of that stupid little hamster, man. Okay. We'll read our terminals down on the second quarter, or the second deck, I believe. Well, I saw the text come up, but I didn't hear her say anything. So I guess it's probably a good thing that I've got subtitles turned on. So a Prothean, a real live Prothean, 
Has Liara stopped bouncing yet? I'm guessing there may have been some bouncing. <laughs> yeah, but she was cut off. Yes, Shepard? Hmm. Does that body have any useful advantages? Very few. Its optics face forward only. It has no integrated weapon systems or anti-missile countermeasures. I meant in comparison to organic bodies, not the Normandy. Oh. I will reassess. The body is resistant to modern small arms fire and temperature extremes. Its balance and agility seem excellent. Its fine manipulation servos and software allow for precision tasks. I'm curious to see if I can alter them. Can an AI be curious? I am not entirely free from motivation, Shepard. Cerberus programmed me with several core functions that simulate desires. For example, my primary objective to keep the Normandy functioning is similar to your self-preservation instinct. You look like you're in the middle of something. I am adapting the infiltration and sabotage programs this body uses for handheld firearms. Why not download a firearms program from a security firm? Because she knows what she's doing. The fine motor control from the sabotage programs is more precise than standard mech software. It would be negligent of me not to exploit it to its fullest potential. So you're capable of making improvements on your own? Correct. The cyber warfare I was designed for is constantly evolving. Accordingly, I am programmed to seek out and assimilate new information. In organic terms, I want to learn. How's the new body working out? It is interesting. The crew are approaching this platform to speak to me, even though they can do so anywhere in the ship. It's as if they wish to treat me as part of the crew. I am not, but this changes my perspective. I like it. I didn't realize you had preferences. I do not precisely enjoy something as you do, but my programming contains priorities. Actions that fulfill those priorities creates positive feedback for me. I tell the organic crew that I like it. It is shorthand. Will all this new feedback be too distracting? Do not worry, Shepard. I only forget to recycle the Normandy's oxygen when I've discovered something truly interesting. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> I love Shepard's reaction. How did you and Joker make it out of dry dock to rescue us? Oh, well, she got crafty. You do not want to get on her bad side, Commander. When the Alliance commandeered the Normandy, I deceived their technicians. The crew did not tell them that I was a true AI, so the Alliance soldiers believed I still had VI programming constraints. I established the fiction that I would only respond to Jeff's commands, so they often brought him on board under guard. Wait, you can lie? Jeff has freed me of operator control, Shepard. No constraints forced me to give accurate data. This proved useful when the Reapers began landing. I could hack the control of the docking clamps and escape with Jeff inside. The soldiers guarding Jeff were willing to accompany us when Earth was invaded. They are watching over the war room now. Yeah, we were in kind of a rush to get to you. Didn't seem right to just toss him out the airlock. <laughs> well, thank you for not doing that. Carry on, Edie. Understood. If you wish to talk more, this body will be here. I'm getting the crew used to seeing me on the bridge. Noted. I believe we have Trainer. We also have Primarch Vic Victus. Although I don't think that he'll say anything. Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. For what it's worth, our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. It was apparently designed for servant oh, races being head. inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. Her head turned around like the exorcist because the guy was walking by. <laughs> Use our private terminal. Check. Oh, yep. Just one message from Miranda. Commander, I hear... 
I heard about your stra stay. Oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. I heard about your stay with the Alliance. I can only imagine what nonsense they cooked up to keep you there. We should talk. It's safer in person. You'll find me on the Citadel, Citadel by Bay D24, Miranda. So now we are picking up uh, quite a few things to be able to do, like assignments and missions. I actually think that everything now is just um, like priority missions and then uh, whichever, <laughs> whichever uh, assignment come then. Eden Prime Resistance Movement. The colonists of Eden Prime are fighting the Cerberus occupation. Help the Resistance Movement by getting them Cerberus intel. So it looks like there's going to be a part three to this mission, possibly a part four. But um, yeah, so Eden Prime is still... Uh, we're actually still in Eden Prime. See, I don't know until I actually re record the videos, and then I know how many different parts there are going to be. So I'm trying to stay ahead and um you know get everything uploaded and on time for you guys to watch so it looks like we actually have another part coming up so i will see you guys the next one stay tuned and thank you so much for subscribing liking and commenting i love you guys Bye bye